What up, collective? My name is Madonna Dubai. Welcome to Star Sea Direct. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge. If you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for your continual support as you assist me, a single mompreneur, to further my light work mission, but also um, support a true and true entrepreneur. Okay? I get it out the mud daily. Thank you so much for your donations and your energetic support on any level. If you would like to see the many ways I get down, you can check all that information out in the description box below. These episodes today are being sponsored by Kiss Nail Products, okay? I'm currently modeling their gel, their home gel system, okay? It definitely gives you salon quality without even the use of a UV light it's a three-step process, and it feels like I got them done at the salon. So thank you very much, Kiss, for the opportunity. All right. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. Mm. Heartbroken, bro. It's always some, somebody's heartbroken here, okay? Mm. You have the stars. Someone either is healing from a, heart, a heartbreak or somebody is heartbroken over the fact that you're healed. Take what resonates. We also have the tower. Someone may be having a tower moment once they realize that, um, wow, that divine feminine is healed. Interesting. Divine feminine energy. Somebody is heartbroken over a divine feminine here. Hmm. Someone may be heartbroken and having a tower moment over the fact that Divine Feminine is doing her healing or is healed. Mm, you have trust. Clarifying the Divine Feminine card. You have Allow Love, clarifying the Tower card. You have Nature, clarifying the Star card. Okay, we might as well get one for this heartbroken energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dreams. Someone may be heartbroken and waking up having a tower moment regarding something that they dreamed about, possibly involving a divine feminine. I'm also getting maybe this particular person dreamed of being with you, divine feminine, and then they woke up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Take what resonates for you. Okay. This person may be heartbroken about what they're seeing in their dreams. Mm. Would allow love in the tower. Possibly because maybe they had a vision of you being with someone that they definitely stopped, tried their best to stop you from being with. <laughs> Shit. That's a message for somebody. Divine Feminine. You may be receiving passionate communication from whoever this future partnership is with, okay? I mean, I'm only saying it's a love relationship because you have allowed love, but it could be work. We'll see once we get to the tarot, if any pentacles come out. I don't know. But Divine Feminine, the spirit, the high vibrational energy guiding this message. 
is urging you to trust your path and allow love, okay? Because in you taking the time to trust yourself and heal yourself from past transgressions, you are by default attracting new love and someone else knows this also and they're heartbroken about it. We're going to find out who's been having dreams about you. Who's been having dreams about Divine Feminine being with somebody? Mm. The Chariot. There could have been a Cancerian energy having dreams about you. And they're having a tower moment now because they realize that, um, that you are legitimately moving forward or they know that you're not going to be single for much longer here. I don't know. They're heartbroken over something they saw in a dream. Yeah, they possibly are emotional about it. Ace of Cups. They possibly dreamed about you moving on and finding love elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, bro. This is definitely involving a third party with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups here. They had some kind of vision that they woke up from or this is going to happen. They could be having a tower moment. You could be dealing with an Aries. Don't have to be. You got Aquarius energy here. But whoever you are, you are a divine feminine, okay? This person may have had a vision of someone else coming in for you, okay? Divine feminine, let's see what's going on here with the trust card. Divine Feminine and Trust card is getting clarified by, whoa, the Ten of Cups. Believe in the power of your own words, Divine Feminine. I'm also getting that you need to trust that you are going to be completely fulfilled in this new relationship, okay? Ten of Cups is... One of the happiest cards in the deck of tarot. Divine Feminine, you're trusting in the divine at this moment. And you're remaining in good spirits regarding some kind of news or some kind of connection. You're feeling very content right now. Ten of Cups. You and your family could be happy. Or if you have children, you guys are happy. Um, yeah. There may actually be new love coming in for you, Divine Feminine, or this is you pouring into your own cup. But by you doing this, it's attracting new love, okay? There's definitely a Cancerian energy here or a water sign. Maybe they're not this energy. Maybe this is just the energy. This person is heartbroken that you're moving forward towards new love here. Somebody dreamed about you being with somebody, okay? They could have been having a prophetic dream about you, but Divine Feminine in the waking life, this could be something that you're manifesting or that has already manifested. And whoever this third party person is, they're actually having dreams about it. They're heartbroken with what they see. If I mean, yeah, you have the dream card come out. Let's see. Mm. This person could be younger than you. Somebody is coming in with some brave communication today, Divine Feminine, or whenever you watch this. Mm. Let's get one on stars and nature. Stars and nature. Yeah. It wanted to come out twice, and it did. Page of Wands. Someone may be mustering up the courage to speak on this information. Or whoever this... It's involving three people here. Divine Feminine and two other people. Okay? This person may be heartbroken about some kind of vision they had about you, Divine Feminine, being with someone new because you had the Ace of Cups come out twice. One by this Cancerian energy or water sign. 
and one under the divine feminine energy and the ten of cups okay page of wands someone is going to be very brave in what they have to say this could involve someone proposing to you okay there may be someone of high regard wanting to express some form of communication of wanting to propose to you this person sees you as wife material they don't know though if you're going to say yes okay they don't know they're curious about it they don't know if you're going to say yes mm. but this person definitely sees you as the empress okay this person possibly sees you as a good mother if you have children. Um, if not, this person may want to have a child with you. This person could be younger than you. <laughs> this person is also defending you. This person also is defending you. Like defending your honor. This person could be very chivalrous. This person may see other people throwing you shade or talking shit about you and they're defending you in your name. Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is having dreams, or I guess it would be a nightmare, right? If they're heartbroken. Five of Pentacles. They feel abandoned. They feel left out in the cold or they feel they could be going through some financial issues now. Whoa. Ace of Swords. This is the truth. And they feel that this lack of finances or lack of whatever this is, is due to how they did you in the past. This person may also be thinking about you very heavily. Okay? You may be focused on yourself right now. And I think that's what's attracting this energy towards you is because you're not like other people. Um, absorbed in other people's energy, like in an invasive way. You may just be focusing on remaining content in your own life. You may be manifesting this love energy through self-love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you may actually be traveling right now or planning to travel in the near future. Or this person may be traveling towards you. I'm also getting that you're moving away from anything that isn't emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay, if it's not equal give and take, you're moving away from it. Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. You're definitely embarking on a new beginning here. There's definitely a lot of people from your past that are definitely focused on the past. You got the Seven of Pentacles coming out twice. These people are definitely focused on the past, but you're not. You're not afraid to uh, let anybody know either. Eight of Wands and the Fool, you've made it quite clear to these people that if it's not going to be equal give and take, thank you so much for your consideration. I got to keep it moving. Okay, Divine Feminine. And that's not to be rude. That's not to be negative. That's not to be anything. You probably wish these people the best. But you're moving forward in your life now. This could be, you know, your contentness by yourself with your children or without your children. Take what resonates for you. This may also be you just secretly enjoying. Say you are in a relationship. It's not anybody's business. Take what resonates for you, okay? Because not every divine feminine is single, okay? Maybe whoever this is that potentially has their eye on you wants to propose to you. Maybe this was brought up in a conversation, okay? Yeah. Whoever this person is having dreams about you, they're definitely stressed, over how independent you are. This person is stressed about you being married again. This person is also stressed about your finances. And I don't know why. This person is very concerned about your money. But they not working to help you make the money. They not working. They not even working with you. I don't even know who this is. Okay. This person is very stressed right now. About contracts or some kind of opportunity to get remarried here. This person is also stressed about your success. This person is stressed about your success here. Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. 
I'm also getting whatever they're they're definitely dreaming about this. It's causing them stress. Okay. Yeah, they're waking up mad. They're waking up mad. They could also be or have in the past attempted to say or do a lot of things to try to thwart your success or be a thorn in your side and all of that shit backfired, okay? They possibly even tried to lie about how you are in a relationship. This could be an ex or this could be someone you worked with. Take what resonates. This person may be trying to to tear away people from wanting to date you by spreading lies about you or this person is mad that you're moving on they could have even lied about how you guys separated whatever resonates everybody's story is different but it's not stopping this person from coming in and wanting to put a ring on it okay this person also is very popular whoever they are yeah this person could definitely want to take you on a date this person may also be protecting you this person may also be very protective over you. They could be saving money for the ring. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, whoever this person is, Divine Feminine, that wants to, to propose to you, you make them very happy. They want to be in union with you very soon. They also may want to, uh, you know, eat, 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 consummate the connection, okay? That's all I got for you. Bye.